Hi, today I'm going to show you how to draw a papur chain with a cat. A papur chain is this figure, you see the article in Wikipedia. There are two fixed elements, that is this outside circle and this interior circle. All the other circle, circle are built uh, with this constraint. Let's take this circle, for example. This circle simply is uh, tangent to the interior circle and the external circle. This circle is tangent to interior, external and the previous one, and so on. So, let's build it. We are going to use today the program FreeCAD because first of all it's free and for this kind of drawing it works quite well. So let's get started. Maximize FreeCAD. This is what we want to get. This is the plot. So you see the good thing of drawing with a CAD is that it's, it's parametric. Changing the size of one of the elements change the size of all the other elements accordingly. So let's draw, let's draw this figure um, from the beginning. So to do it you go here, you select new course. New you go into uh, part design you could go either in Sketcher or Part Design. I will go in Part Design because in a second moment we want to build, we would like to build a solid element starting from the Papur chain. So, Part Design, click here, select XY plane, okay. Good, we are ready to draw. So first of all, um, I recommend that you position your tool in a way that they are practical to find. Okay, so let's start. Make a circle. Okay, the, we want this circle to be in the center. Okay, so select the two point and then either um, you click here or you could press C. So let's go on. This circle is done. It's done. Then let's do the other circle. For example, mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Here we want uh, this circle center to be on this line. So this constraint. Then we want this circle to be tangent to this circle. So, um, what is it? Here. Good. Now observe. See? Change one figure, everything changes. That's good. The good thing of drawing with a parametric cap. So let's go on. Another circle. We want the center to be on this line. This circle is tangent to this circle. Now I press T to make tangent, okay? This circle is tangent to make this circle, okay. Tangent. 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 Move a bit. Tangent. 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 And tangent. Okay. Some circles in the part below.
tangent 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 Good. Let's resize. You see if things works, and they work well. Our constraints are good. I will add some other elements, but I will uh, fast forward the video so that we don't lose time on this point. Okay, we have this figure, and if you wish, you can add more circles, make it more complex. But uh, more or less, the idea is this: I'll serve Okay, now that we have drawn the paper chain using a CAD program. We may think about how ancient mathematicians were able to draw this figure. Or also, could we draw this figure as a result of a mathematical problem? That is, especially, we could write this as an optimization problem and try to solve it. Would we be able to solve it? And finally, out of the pop chain, we may build a, a, a K ring or an earring for your girlfriend that is to build something like this and then 3D print it. So, these are the questions that I leave to you, and maybe I will do a video on some of these topics in the future. Okay, that's all for today. Goodbye.